Hello, I'm Moira McLean, and as you can see around me are some of the best camcorders, VCRs and video accessories from Panasonic, the largest manufacturer of home video equipment in the world. Panasonic's new life range of video movie making products. And thank you for choosing to purchase a Panasonic camcorder. This video is designed to add even more life to your video movie making techniques. To help you view this tape, we've provided a convenient index. As well, the topics have been divided into five modules. If you wish, you may choose to watch the entire video or select only those particular topics which interest you. You'll notice that there are numbers running continuously on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. This is to assist you in finding the topic you wish to watch. So, here are the module headings and their index numbers. Module 1. How does my camera work? Rechecking the package contents. Module 2. Recording. Posture and handling. Avoiding mistakes. Module 3. Good angles. Camera movement. Dynamic zoom effects. Movie making secrets. In-camera editing. Playing back your video movie. Module 4. Panasonic advanced shooting functions. Titling. Unique features. And Module 5, Travelling with your Panasonic camcorder. Using accessories for best results. Editing. If you don't understand some of the instructions on this video, don't worry. You can rewind the tape and watch it again. And for a better look at some of the topics, you can freeze the picture. To do this, press the pause or still button on your VCR. Now before we go any further, make sure you've read your manual from cover to cover. You'll need to know where to find your camcorder's features and how to use them while you're watching this video and use it as a reference. In this video, we've put together all the best techniques that professional movie makers around the world use. And by following these methods, you'll find that your movies will come alive. Exciting, isn't it? And you can shoot just like that too, after using the techniques we're about to show you. But first, let's take a look at why your Panasonic camcorder is so good. It really is a technological marvel. Your Panasonic camcorder records 25 pictures a second. When these pictures are played back, it gives an illusion of movement. Let's show you how this works. Light passes through the lens, where it's focused behind the iris, onto the CCD, the charge-coupled device. This is a microchip which has thousands of sensors which react to light. The CCD then takes those images, changes them to electrical signals, and transfers them to the recording head and onto the videotape 25 times every second. Sounds complicated, but what it means is what you see in the EVF, the electronic viewfinder, is what you get. Now within this electronic process, Panasonic has developed a number of revolutionary devices. These include digital AI automatic focus. This is a unique artificially intelligent computer that ensures crisp, clear pictures from the widest view to very close up without having to focus by hand. It also allows somebody or something to pass quickly in front of the camcorder without the autofocus system trying to adjust for it. Other camcorders will hunt back and forth trying to focus. Some Panasonic camcorders have an amorphous pro head. These recording heads bring out the full potential by boosting true to life color reproduction and natural sound. An aluminium die cast chassis provides the video head and tape housing with a strong light support to sit in. And that's important because it ensures durability and reliability. And each Panasonic camcorder's microphone is specially designed to give the best sound quality for that particular camera. By now, I'm sure you've already opened up the package and probably used your camcorder a number of times. Before we move on to video movie making techniques, let's quickly review the items you've found inside an instruction manual. Now keep it handy so you can refer to it as we talk about making the best use of your camcorder. 
In the bag your instruction manual came in, you'll have seen a leaflet describing Panasonic tapes. The quality of videotape you use is of utmost importance. It not only affects the quality of your recording, but can also affect the amount of wear on the heads of your camcorder and your VCR. We strongly recommend you use Panasonic tapes because they're perfectly compatible with your camcorder. Panasonic is one of only four manufacturers in the world to be awarded the coveted quality certification mark in Japan. For best results and long life, use a Panasonic high-grade tape. And for Super VHS camcorders, Panasonic Super VHS tape. Also in the package, you'll find a handy shoulder strap. This attaches to the camcorder to allow it to be carried easily and safely when not in use. There's a battery and battery charger. Next to tape quality, your battery and battery charger are two of the most important items in your new video movie making setup. The best use of each battery only comes when it's fully charged, giving you maximum recording time. On VHS C format camcorders, a nickel cadmium battery is used. This gives you maximum power for minimum weight. If these batteries are not charged in the proper way, they can form what's known as a memory. This put simply means that if you use your camcorder for, say, five minutes, and then you recharge the battery, a chemical block may form that doesn't allow the battery to be charged properly. Next time you shoot, you may discover to your dismay that your battery life is reduced. To avoid this, the battery should be fully drained of power on the camcorder, and then recharged. On a standard battery, charging will take about one hour until the red charging light goes out. However, for the best results, it's advisable to leave the battery on the charger for about three hours. For heavy duty batteries, wait for about five hours. Every fourth or fifth charge, the battery should be cycled by placing the battery onto your charger. Press the charge discharge button until the green light comes on, telling you the battery is being drained of power. Once the battery is empty, this may take up to eight hours, the charger will automatically switch over to charge mode, indicated by the red light. If you have a full-sized camcorder, a lead-acid battery is used. This battery should also be drained on the camcorder. Then, for best results, leave the lead-acid battery on the charger for three hours. These batteries cannot and do not need to be discharged on the charger. Don't charge any battery for more than 24 hours, and never store a camcorder with the battery attached. The chargers are also used for powering your camcorder directly from your main supply. If you haven't already done so, make sure you install the small lithium battery. It preserves the time, date and other memory functions. And don't forget to check your instruction manual for installation details. Now you're ready to record. Slide the charged battery into the camcorder. Turn the camcorder on and ensure that it's switched to camera mode, not VTR. Press the eject button and insert a cassette. On compact models, make sure the viewfinder is fully extended. The focus on the eyepiece may need to be adjusted to your eyes. Now, before you attempt to record with the new Panasonic camcorder, let's take a few moments to think about posture when shooting. Take up a stable position. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointing slightly outwards to keep you balanced when you pan. Legs and knees relaxed and keep your back straight to minimise fatigue. Position your right hand so you can freely operate the red record pause button with your thumb and tighten the belt grip firmly around your hand. Relax your shoulders and keep your elbows close to your sides. Put your viewfinder eye cup up to your eye. Hold the camcorder on the bottom or the side with your left hand for more stable shooting. For greater stability, the camcorder may be set on one knee for low shots. Or you can lean against a wall, fence, or other rigid surface. For best results, use a tripod. And when you move while you shoot, open both eyes so you can keep track of what's around you. These techniques will ensure your video movies are steady and smooth. Now you're ready to shoot. In the viewfinder, you'll see several words and symbols. E to F indicates the amount of charge left in the battery. It usually takes about one minute to register the charge properly. The number you see is the tape counter and indicates the position of the tape in minutes and seconds. 
the numbers indicate in real time the number of hours, minutes and seconds you've recorded. And pause indicates the tape is loaded and in the record pause mode. Now, using the right thumb, press the red button once. You'll see the record indicator, REC, appear. Make sure this is on whenever you're shooting. To stop recording, press the red button again once. And you'll see the viewfinder displaying pause. If you leave your camcorder on pause for some time while you're waiting to shoot again, the camcorder will switch off automatically after about three minutes. This is to save your battery. When you want to shoot again, switch the camcorder on and it will be ready in pause at the right spot for you to record. It's that easy. Exposure, colour and sound are all taken care of automatically. Let's show you how to guarantee good results every time so you, your family and friends will enjoy them. Avoid excessive camcorder movement. Take care to move the camcorder no more than necessary. Don't pan from subject to subject without a good reason or your video movie will become confusing. Keep your Panasonic camcorder horizontal. Even if you hold the camcorder steady, your movie will be unsettling if the angle becomes skewed. So take care to align the horizontal and vertical lines in the frame. Avoid overusing the zoom. It's best not to zoom too often. The more you do, the greater the risk of getting a shaky picture, especially at the end of the zoom. Watch the length of the shots. If they're too short, scenes will be abrupt and that makes watching quite disturbing. And shots that are too long can become boring. Five to ten seconds is usually a great length for each shot. Always leave three to five seconds at the beginning and end of each shot to ensure your camcorder doesn't record over the previous scene. Rely on normal lighting because we recommend you use available light for a more realistic live effect. Coming up, I'll show you some of the more professional techniques that'll make your video movies burst with new life. Once you've become familiar with all the controls and how to use them, it's time to try some techniques with camcorder height and angles. Shooting at eye level is often best, but unusual angles will help make your movies look more creative. Here are some different angles you could experiment with. Horizontal shots. These are often used for videoing people and are taken simply by keeping the lens at eye level with the subject. High angle shots. These are taken from a point above the subject. High angle shots make subjects appear smaller than they actually are. Low angle shots, taken from a point below normal eye level. Low angle shots give your pictures greater impact by making a subject appear larger than reality. Now here are some of the words used to describe different shots. The close up, it focuses on a specific part of the subject. The portrait, it highlights facial expressions. The waist or mid shot, captures the upper body and arm movements. The full or wide shot shoots the whole body and its surroundings. No matter how beautiful the scenery is, holding the same shot too long will lose your viewers interest. Keeping the following techniques in mind while you shoot will help you make interesting video movies with lots of creativity and variety. For more professional results in the following techniques, it's better to use the manual focus. Panning. Panning is a slow rotation of the camcorder across a scene. It's used to show expansive scenery or to give your shot a wide, broad look. Panning is also used to follow a moving subject. But remember your posture. Feet apart, toes pointing slightly outward, elbows tucked in. Practice the pan first without recording to get the best composition. Then when you record, hold the camcorder steady for about three seconds at the start of the pan and at the end. For best results, you should take about 10 seconds to rotate the camera 90 degrees. Tilting. 
Moving the camcorder up for tall subjects is called tilting up. Moving it down is called tilting down. The rules for tilting are the same for panning. Practice first. Hold the shot for about three seconds before and after. You can use tilting to shoot tall buildings or other subjects too high to fit in the picture. The dolly. Now this has nothing to do with children's toys. The dolly happens when you physically move with the camcorder as opposed to zooming. Dolly in means to approach your subject as you shoot. Dolly out is to move away from the subject. And dolly around means to circle your subject. <laughs> and tracking means to physically follow a moving subject with the camcorder. Dollying and tracking gives an exciting sense of movement to your video. But remember to keep both eyes open in case you walk into something. All the movements I've just mentioned are obviously going to be in a handheld position whilst walking. To reduce camcorder movement, use the wide angle setting. The more you use dollying, tracking and panning moves, the better your shot will look. Zooming gives you the effect of greater or lesser distance while keeping the subject in focus. You can make your videos much more interesting by using zooming effectively. Be sure, however, to hold the camera firmly when zooming because shaky movement will be greatly emphasised. So how do you zoom? It's very easy. Your camcorder has a zoom button a W for wide angle and a T for telephoto. Simply press the T button to zoom in on a subject and the W button to zoom out. Now some zooming hints. Zoom in for a closer look at a subject and zoom out to show its surroundings. As I've mentioned before, it's good to hold a shot for a few seconds at the start and finish of all zooming. However, repeated zooming does get boring. So use the zoom sparingly for best effect. Whenever you watch television or go to the movies, you'll be aware of all the techniques I've spoken about. And if you use them, you'll discover your video movies will be very entertaining and full of life. New life Panasonic. When professional movies are made, many months of preparation go into the story, the actions, the locations and so on. When you make your own home video movies, there's no need to spend quite that amount of time to make a good production. However, even a few minutes planning will greatly improve the quality of work and entertainment value to the viewers. The extent of preparation is limitless. However, a good start is to put some ideas down on paper. These ideas may be in the form of a simple list of items you want to record on tape. Or you can draw a basic storyboard which outlines in simple pictures what you wish to capture. If you'd like even more professional results, write a script with dialogue and a more advanced storyboard to match. You can even incorporate props, which are items added to a scene or used by actors, and special costumes, all of which will enhance your video movie. Life, Panasonic. Later in this presentation, I'll explain how you can edit your video movies at home. But for now, let's look at some techniques you can use to make your video movie even more appealing. The combination of arranging many of your shots in a logical sequence and in-camera editing will give you very satisfying results. Here's an example. Let's say you wanted to record a birthday party. First start recording by pressing the red record pause button to establish a wide shot of the scene. Then press the red record pause button to stop recording. As the cake comes out, start recording again and follow it to the table. Then stop recording. Then zoom out to wide angle and commence recording again to capture the singing of happy birthday. When the singing is completed, stop recording. Then get ready to take a close up of blowing out the candles. With both eyes open, watch the moment when the person is about to blow out the candles. Then commence recording and hold on the action. When the scene that you're recording is completed, stop recording then zoom out to a wide angle of the scene 
and commence recording to capture the group. And there you are, all the excitement and activity in an appealing sequence. Now this may seem like a lot of stopping and starting, but the end result will be far more entertaining to watch. Let's have a look at the result. Your Panasonic camcorder also has a reviewing function, which is very useful for in-camera editing. For example, if you're recording a spectacular scene and somebody walks in front of the camcorder, all you need to do is to hold down the search rewind button for a few seconds. You'll see the unwanted section pass by in fast backward motion, then release the search button and start recording again. That unfortunate moment will be recorded over and disappear from your videotape. And if your Panasonic camcorder has the fade in, fade out and titling functions, these can also be included in the in-camera editing stage, which we'll be looking at later. If done correctly, in-camera editing is quite simple and will add lots of life to your video movie making. Now enjoying those great pictures you've recorded is easy. Simply eject the VHS C tape and place it into the VHS cassette adapter. You can now insert the adapter straight into your home VHS video recorder. Press play, sit back and enjoy. That's the VHS advantage. And of course, Super VHS recordings can only be played on Super VHS VCRs. You can also watch your movies directly from your Panasonic camcorder. There are two ways to do this. First, by using the supplied RF adapter. The camcorder can be connected to your TV through the antenna socket located in the rear of the set. Select an unused channel and tune your TV into the channel specified in your camcorder manual. Picture and sound will be replayed. Always make sure the tiny switch on the rear of the RF adapter is set to G. Or if your television has an RCA video audio input, your camcorder can be connected to your TV using standard RCA cables. Please refer to your manual for instructions specifically relating to your camcorder. Panasonic has included a number of exciting features common to most of its models to enhance your video movie making. Check your instruction manual to see if your camcorder includes these features as I mention them. Date time button to record both the time and the date on the lower left hand side of the screen. Press the date time button once. To display the date only, press the date time button a second time. To remove the display, press the button a third time. Shutter speed. The shutter speed or high speed shutter button controls the speed of the shutter. This enables high speed action to be recorded on your tape without blurring. To check your Panasonic camcorder shutter speeds, multiple presses of the shutter button will display the available speeds in the top right hand corner of the viewfinder. Note that when using high shutter speeds, strong light like sunshine is necessary. This feature is great for videoing high-speed actions such as boating and water skiing. When using high-speed shutter settings for indoor sports like squash, it's recommended that 1 1 20th or 1 2 50th of a second speeds be used, depending on the available light. The SP-LP switch. SP or standard play is the normal position of this switch. In LP or long play, the tape runs at half the speed, giving twice the length of recording time. So a 45 minute tape will last 90 minutes. High shutter speed is not advised in LP mode. The fade button. Press and hold this button until the picture becomes black. And then release it. 
you'll find the scene gradually fades into sight. Press and hold it once more, and the scene gradually fades out to total darkness. This technique is great for smooth, attractive scene transitions. Manual focus. By pressing this button, or sliding the focus switch, you disengage the automatic focus. Check your manual for the method used for your camcorder. This enables precise focusing in low light situations when automatic focus isn't suitable. And for more professional results. Low light. With the low light level capability of the new camcorders, you can capture all the beauty and excitement of low light scenes, like a warm family moment around the Christmas tree. White balance. White balance is the adjustment of the camcorder to cope with the varying colours of light. Shots taken in the bright outdoors tend to be bluish, and the indoors tend to be warm reddish yellow. White is a neutral colour in both these situations. Therefore, the correct white balance will make all colours, especially skin tones, look natural both outdoors and indoors. White balance on your Panasonic camcorder is set to automatic but may be adjusted by placing the white translucent lens cap onto the lens. To do this, press the white balance button for at least three seconds. This will activate the manual setting. The word white will flash on and off. When it stops, the words W set will appear, indicating that the white balance setting is finished. In a situation where there may be more than one light source, or illumination is weak, Follow the same procedure, but instead of placing the lens cap on, point the camera at a white object, like a sheet of white cardboard. Once manual white balance is chosen, white balance must be adjusted each time lighting conditions change. Camera search. This allows the recording to be reviewed, or fast forwarded, in the record pause mode. Memory. In the VTR mode, the memory button enables the tape to be automatically returned to the selected point. This function is useful in editing. Your manual will tell you how to use this. Light, Refer to your manual to see if your Panasonic camcorder includes the following feature. The titling memory function makes it possible to put a title into memory and recall it later during shooting at the push of a button. The title will then be superimposed onto whatever you're shooting. When putting a title into the memory, it's best done in the recording pause mode. To achieve this, prepare a printed illustration or a printed title. A black felt pen on white paper works best. Frame the title in your viewfinder. Press the memory button and your title is stored. To insert a title in your recording, Simply press the title button, and to remove it, press the title button a second time. Colours of your title may be changed by repeatedly pressing the colour button. The current colour will be displayed in the top left-hand corner of your viewfinder. By repeatedly pressing the titling mode button, the way in which the title is superimposed onto the picture can be changed. Optional character generators are also available for titling and stopwatch functions. Check if your camcorder is compatible. Some of the camcorders in the Panasonic range have unique features. Check your manual to see what features your camcorder has. You may find that the next section doesn't apply to your camcorder, in which case you may wish to fast forward the tape to the next section. Or stay with me, because I'm sure you'll find these features very fascinating. Auto light. This function enables a light to be attached to the top of the camcorder, drawing its power directly from the battery. In auto light mode, when the surrounding light falls below a certain level, the light will automatically switch on. The light may also be switched on manually. This function reduces battery life. The color viewfinder and audio visual wide scope. A camcorder with a color viewfinder enables you to view the scene through a color screen. The AV wide scope offers a screen that is twice as big as a standard viewfinder, with the added advantage of having sound. Now you can play back your movies wherever you are, in full colour and sound. When videoing objects with the sun behind them, they appear darkened, 
This may be overcome by pressing the back light button. This function makes it possible to brighten up a subject. Check your manual for specific instructions which relate to your camcorder. Gyro movie. Camera shake plagues conventional compact lightweight palm corders. Panasonic is the world's first video camera manufacturer to solve this problem. When the digital image stabiliser button is pressed, the camcorder digitally minimises camera shake during shooting to ensure a consistently stable picture. The latest digital technology provides some Panasonic camcorders with a variety of fun-filled, high-performance functions. Digital zoom. A camcorder with this function can take the optical zoom and digitally enlarge it to further increase the zoom electronically without the use of lenses. Digital snapshot recording. This function lets you record a five second still to create a photographic effect. Like a still camera with sound. Digital mirror recording. The left half of the image is reversed on the right side of the screen to create a mirror image. This creates fantastic effects. Digital still recording. You can record a continuous still picture while sound records normally. You got it right on the camera. You filmed it. Good stuff. Oh, it's so good, I tell you what. Digital strobe recording. It records stills at two tenths of a second intervals for an interesting strobe-like effect. Super VHS camcorder in both the full-size cassette and C-format camcorders. Thanks to high-resolution technology, the Super VHS video format is capable of capturing atmosphere, colour and definition, almost as good as a naked eye. The detail is so crisp that it even renders the finer differences of textures and patterns accurately. So you experience the depth and realism of the original scene. Three-step zone focus. By pressing the Auto Zone Selector button, the focus zone can be adjusted to allow better auto-focusing, depending on the circumstances. Iris control. This iris control adjusts the amount of light to be recorded. It can be used to make the subject either darker or brighter. Program AE. This stands for Automatic Exposure. With a conventional camcorder, adjusting exposure by changing iris settings or shutter speeds for creative effects wasn't easy. Program AE dramatically simplifies exposure control for creative flexibility. Portrait mode is selected when you want to make the subject in the picture clear in contrast to a darkened background. Sport mode is effective when the subject is moving at high speeds, such as water skiing. Select the manual mode setting to achieve total control of the depth of field. That is, the range of distance in which objects appear to be in focus. Your Panasonic camcorder is great to take on a family holiday or business trip. And the range of Panasonic accessories available from your retailer will make shooting your video movies even more pleasurable. Your battery charger has an automatic multi-voltage facility, so it can be used in almost every country in the world. If you want to play back your movies through the hotel's television set, you may encounter some problems, as your Panasonic camcorder is designed to work with Australia's TV system, which is PAL. Always check what TV system your destination country uses, or if the hotel has multi-standard TV sets in the rooms. To shoot video movies, you need a good supply of blank tapes. But blank tapes mightn't always be available at your travel destination. So before you go, have some idea of how many tapes you may need, whether your destination sells them or not, and that they're suitable to be used in your PAL camcorder. To be on the safe side, the best idea is to buy them before you go. Always consider your battery runtime. You may have 10 blank tapes, but a battery on average will only last the length of one tape. So always carry at least one spare, fully charged battery if you intend to use more than one tape in a day. Or don't have access to a main supply for battery recharging. Remember, it takes a minimum of three hours to charge each battery. 
Camcorder care is always important. Keep foreign objects away, especially magnets or magnetised equipment. Camcorders don't like being dropped, getting wet or being in dusty situations. Therefore, a camcorder bag to protect your precious investment is strongly recommended. When travelling to very humid countries, staying in air-conditioned hotels may cause problems with condensation or dew forming within the camcorder. This is caused by the cold air of the hotel room inside your camcorder, drawing moisture from the outside hot, humid air. To avoid this, it's best to let the camcorder acclimatise to the outside surroundings for at least 30 minutes before switching the camcorder on. Similar problems may occur on tour buses. If moisture does collect inside your camcorder, the word dew will appear in the viewfinder. When this happens, the camcorder will automatically switch off. Disconnect the battery, then wait for about an hour before using it again. In the tropics, light intensity can become very bright. A polarising filter is recommended to cut glare and enhance colours. Panasonic camcorder microphones are very powerful and will pick up many sounds our ears tend to ignore. For example, if you're shooting what looks to be a remote scene, say a wildlife park, and you want only the sounds of nature, you may not be aware of an aircraft flying overhead. The microphone, however, picks up everything. To overcome this, you should connect headphones or an earpiece to the camcorder, so every sound can be monitored while you're shooting. Accessories can further enhance the creativity of your video movie making capabilities. Panasonic accessories can be purchased from your Panasonic camcorder dealer, some of which include batteries. The number of batteries and their amount of charge will dictate your shooting time. Additional batteries can be a very important accessory. For the range of compact camcorders, a heavy duty battery, the VW VBS2 is available. This battery is about twice the size, but will last twice as long as a standard battery. A car battery cord. This will enable you to run your camcorder directly from your car cigarette lighter, saving camcorder battery power. The teleconversion lens. This lens increases the power of your camcorder zoom lens by 40%, or 100%, depending on which Panasonic lens you're using. The wide conversion lens. This lens is especially good for using indoors, where approximately 30% more will be seen at the wide angle setting. Microphones. Using a camcorder is not just about moving pictures. It's about capturing sound as well. Panasonic has two external microphones, which can be attached to your camcorder to further enhance or to be selective about what you want to hear on your recording. A super directional microphone features a high-low sensitivity switch for improved sound pickup as well as an increased high frequency range. And a stereo microphone will enhance the hi-fi stereo recording capability of your Panasonic camcorder. Battery operated lights. When you're shooting in low light conditions or a little extra light is needed to enhance the subject, a video light can be very effective. Panasonic lights are especially designed to be used with our camcorders to give the best results. The batteries to fit the lights are the same as those for the camcorder, thus reducing the need for a second battery charger. Accessory shoe adapter. This enables accessories to be attached to the camcorder. Pause remote control. By connecting this device, the record and record pause buttons can be operated away from the camera position. Hand grip. This enables the camera to be held and operated with one hand, either right or left. Shoulder pad. This is designed to be used with full-sized camcorders, offering additional cushioning on the shoulder. Character generator. This enables you to add titles and messages, either when shooting or editing. As many as 10 titles can be stored, with up to 180 characters and four character sizes. Camcorder carry bags and cases. Panasonic has a wide range of hard and soft carry cases and carry bags available to protect your valuable investment. 
Panasonic videotapes. Panasonic produces a range of high quality tapes to meet all your recording needs. Whatever you need to give your pictures the edge and put new life into your video movie making, you can be sure Panasonic has the equipment to suit. New life, Panasonic. You'll discover that when you shoot your video movies, there'll be pictures on your tapes you don't want to be there, or scenes that aren't in the correct sequence. Editing becomes a very useful and easy means to make your video movies more entertaining. Editing can be achieved simply by connecting your Panasonic camcorder to your VCR and copying only those sections you need. You should refer to your manual for the connections required. If you want to replace the soundtrack on your video movies, this can be achieved by either removing the audio RCA plug from the camcorder and placing it into another source, such as a tape recorder. Or, if you own a Panasonic VCR with the audio dubbing function, the same effect may be achieved by using the audio dub button. The new audio track can be inputted through the microphone socket. Audio mixing may also be achieved with either a camcorder and stereo VCR, or a sound mixer. In this case, please refer to your manual. The Panasonic VW EC300E editing controller is designed to give home video movie makers excellent results. It allows you to connect either your camcorder and one or two VCRs fitted with a five pin plug. The controller also puts a range of fast and accurate editing capabilities at your command. Always use high quality videotapes when editing, as this maintains picture and sound quality. Also, if you have an edit switch fitted to your VCR, make sure it's switched to on to reduce the amount of quality loss. This switch should be set to off for normal viewing. Another helpful hint is to sit down with pen and paper and work out exactly which sections of your tape you wish to edit. Making special note of the tape counter indicator for later reference. And when you've finished editing, it's a great idea to break the tab on the tape case to prevent anybody accidentally recording over your video movie. Then store it vertically to protect the tape inside. Making video movies with your new Panasonic camcorder is fun, exciting and satisfying. And you'll find many, many uses for it as you become familiar with its special features. I'm sure you've found this tape helpful. And by following the basic rules of movie making that we've shown you, you'll discover that adding new life to your video movie making is easy.